Rotary drum machines are commonly used in sock dye houses. These machines use low levels of water, energy, and chemicals, and offer reduced processing times. Onboard computer systems allow for automated control of the processes, including addition of the chemistry. The same machine is sometimes used for more than one process. For example, scouring, bleaching, dyeing, enzyme treatments, softener application, and other processes give the sock manufacturer many options. Rotary drum machines are versatile and accommodate a wide range of sock types and chemical processes. As such, they're often used for a variety of products and wet processes. Machines range in lot size from a few pounds to hundreds of pounds. This machine is for small lots and laboratory use. Most rotary machines are side-loading. They're similar to front-loading home washing machines in that they consist of an outer closed cylinder and an inner perforated drum or basket that rotates within the outer cylinder. This machine can process hundreds of pounds of socks. Garments are loaded into the rotary machine through the outer access door. The door is closed and the external cylinder is filled to between one quarter and one third of its volume with water or a processing bath. As the interior drum rotates, the garments become saturated with the bath. Typically, after the drum rotates in one direction for a specified number of cycles, the direction reverses. This prevents the garments from being tumbled into a dense mass and keeps the bath circulating evenly throughout the contents of the machine. Side-loading rotary machines typically have one of three common types of drums or pockets. An open pocket, a Y pocket, or a lobed pocket. Each pocket has its advantages, depending on the type of garment being processed. Socks typically use Y or lobed pockets. Y pockets keep garments from tumbling freely, which makes them the best choice for items requiring minimum agitation and abrasion. Finally, lobed pockets lift the garments, allowing increased tumbling with controlled abrasion. Rotary drum machines have microprocessors that allow more precise process control saving time and materials. Another benefit is add tanks, which can be programmed to add chemistry automatically. Finally, rotary drum machines remove water or bath solution from garments by onboard centrifugal extraction. Both front-loading and side-loading rotary machines are used to process socks. The most common rotary machine for socks is the front-loading machine. Front-loading machines are similar to home washing machines in that they consist of an outer closed cylinder and an inner perforated drum or basket that rotates within that outer cylinder. An access door is located on the side of the outer cylinder. For socks, front-loading machines consist of internal compartments. The socks can be processed in bags, loose, or a combination of both. The key advantage to side-loading rotary drum machines is that they require relatively little water to operate. This rotary machine has just completed dyeing a lot of men's dress cotton socks. The operators step in to doff the dye lot and load the next lot at the same time. The machine has three inner compartments. When the machine stops, the operator opens the outer door, puts the unloading tray up, opens the inner door, and puts a truck in place. He then starts pulling the dyed socks out by hand. Once finished, he closes the inner door at the bottom of the compartment and rotates the upper door of the compartment into position for loading. The upper door is opened and three boxes of socks are loaded. The inner door is again shut and the loading tray is lowered. This unloading and loading sequence is repeated for the other two compartments. 
After loading, the outer door is shut and the operator initiates the controller for processing this lot. The machine is filled to between one quarter and one third of its volume with water for processing. The required chemistries are added and the socks are then scoured and dyed to the same shade as the prior lot.